welcome back to the hobby i hope you're doing well and i really hope that you don't see this video as a waste of time um i'm putting it up simply because i'd filmed this thinking that it was going to turn out amazing and that i was going to have a bunch of great tips to share with you but my attempt to achieve a curly fro was a major failure i did this in the summer this footage is actually five months old and the reason it hasn't been put up is because i, I completely failed at trying to curl my hair uh, in the way that i had uh, curled it a couple of years back when my hair was much shorter and i just have lacked the skills in curling my hair i can't achieve that curly fro look that i've always loved um, and I don't know if that's because my hair is longer and it, it has a harder time curling or if I just I didn't do it correctly. And I'm sharing it with you because I don't know. I don't want to just put up videos of me achieving everything, you know, getting the look that I want. I also wanted to show you how you can fail at some things. So I hope you don't take it as a waste of time. Um, I'm simply wanting to share with you what I did and why it didn't work so that you can learn from those mistakes. So hopefully something good will come out of this. The first time I attempted this, um, which included a couple of mistakes, was I did it on dirty hair, meaning it wasn't dirty, but it was in need of a wash. But I thought, well, before I wash it, I'm going to get one more style out of it. And it was this old um, braid out. My hair was very stretched, so I thought that would help with the bounce that I was going to achieve when I had the curly fro. That didn't really work out. but. It was dirty, so that was partly, I think, um, a mistake. Um, I think this tr achieving a curly hairstyle should be done on clean hair so that your hair can absorb all the products you're going to be applying. Um, and when I did it the first time, I used a per perm rods thinking it was going to help with the bounce. That didn't make a difference because, again, my hair was not clean. Um, I used the same products for both methods, and these were the products that I used. Um, same old, good old products that every natural uses to achieve, to seal her hair and achieve a, a pattern of some sort, which is some sort of leave-in conditioner, um, an oil to seal that leave-in conditioner, and then some kind of... Um, curling smoothie uh, or styling cream and then a gel to hold the curl right typical product that you would use to achieve some kind of pattern in your hair that didn't work out you guys and one of my major mistakes was that I was too impatient I removed the perm rods way too early and it didn't dry completely because I had kind of used a little bit of water to get the um, the products to penetrate the the hair shaft right so that didn't dry completely that was the first mistake and I didn't want to use a blow dryer I didn't want to sit under a blow um, a hooded blow dryer because that was going to defeat the purpose of achieving a heatless curl uh, I want to minimize the use of heat and that's why I was curling my hair so I can kind of get a different style without using heat uh, that didn't work out. So if you want your hair to come out awesome, you either have to wait for your hair to dry completely, which for someone like me that has um, type 4 kinky coily hair, um, it takes a while for the hair to dry. Um, it takes quite a bit of time. Um, it might take 24 hours, and depending on how much air you're giving it, it could take longer, right? So the other option is to sit to blow dry it, but if you don't want to risk damaging your hair, then your only option is to wait for it to dry. So that was my first mistake. Um, and maybe I wasn't using the right combination of products. I haven't done this, I haven't tried to curl my hair um, in a couple of years. Um, and the same products that used to work back then don't work now back then a couple of years ago my hair was still in its transitioning mode you know I had different textures in my hair but now it's one complete texture and it's a lot longer so it might require another set of um, products so the next time I do this I am going to kind of change up the routine change up the products to something that could work from my hair type um, from my hair in, a, in the state that it is now so I'm gonna have to do my research but the second attempt was on washed hair, so I learned my lesson. So I washed my hair 
uh, thoroughly cleansed it went in with a leave-in conditioner uh, the contour shea butter leave-in conditioner uh, sealed with coconut oil and then i applied um, the gel right on top so i kind of kept it to three products minimize the amount of products i was putting in my hair my hair was already wet so it didn't need water to aid in the penetration of the products um, through the hair shaft right and this time i thought let me do a bond to out because that's what i had done two years ago um so i this bond to not out again my first mistake was i was too impatient i had to work the next day and i wasn't about to get up at 6 a.m to to undo these bantu bantu knots um so i undid them six hours later and let me tell you it's not just 24 hours that you need you you need maybe 48 hours when you have bantu knots in because the bantu knots are tight only the outer area um, of the of the bantu knots is going to dry the interior area the interior part of the hair is not going to dry it will not or you're, you're gonna have to be under a dryer or you're gonna have to wait a complete 48 hours for it to dry if you have hair like mine let me let me put a disclaimer there if you have hair like mine it will take a long time so you either have to plan for it to take that long and you know clear your entire two days or sit under a dryer and i do not recommend sitting under a hooded dryer because it will damage your hair um and that was my failure with this so six hours later of course the hair didn't dry completely and there was no pattern of any sort um, some areas did dry completely so the smaller bantu knots did dry and those were the ones in the front so i at least had something to work with to be able to style my hair and so because it didn't dry completely i just put it up in uh, like this professional sty uh, looking style uh, I pinned up all the curls and I left a little bit out for a bang and pinned that up as well while it dried so that's how I went to work the next day and I kind of salvaged this my hair for for the week um, it wasn't a waste uh, it didn't come out the way I wanted to I couldn't style I couldn't style a curly fro but hey this is what I ended up with and I ended up just putting it up and that was it disappointing but um at least i didn't have crazy looking hair at the end of it um and then for the other the perm rod set what ended up happening is that it dried completely um but some of the middle parts the roots of my hair weren't dry so some parts were longer than others um some parts were more stretched than others some parts were shinier than others so it was just all over the place and what I decided to do was to put it up in a bob because some parts of it were partially dry and looked good enough for me to kind of put it up in a messy bob or something. Um, leave it out in a messy bob. And so what I did was I pinned up the longer parts to match the length of the shorter parts so that I had an even, even doubt length bob, if you can see what I mean. And I was able to salvage the style in that way. I didn't have a curly fro, but I did have an interesting bob that I was able to style for a few days while I was at work. So at the end of all this, um, I learned my lessons and I realized I do need to do more research and maybe try out some other products uh, with the exception of the gel. The gel works, I know, um, but I definitely need to change up my method. But I, at the end of this, I really hope you learned a few things from this and you can teach me a few things as well um, on how you achieve a curly fro and what products you use. So if you have any tips, let me know. And if this was helpful, also let me know. And I think that is pretty much all I had to say about this video. Hopefully it wasn't a waste. Thank you guys for watching as usual. Um, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe for more videos. I promise you all my videos on hair aren't failures. There's some successes um, and there's more successes to come, I hope. Not the best at curling my hair, but uh, other things uh, I, I hope you can learn something from. So thank you guys for watching as usual and I will see you in the next video. Bye.